I know what you're thinking. The world has gone totally mad. Everyone's recording and editing videos in the nine by 16 vertical portrait format. Certainly when I do client work, I now have to create the original version for the pillar content that goes out on YouTube and other platforms in the widescreen format and then the social media videos in the portrait format. So in order to do that, you need to be able to change the timeline settings to correspond to that portrait format. And I wanna show you just how to do that using DaVinci Resolve. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and change the timeline format to nine by 16, and then we'll export it out. And I'll be showing you how to do that at the end of the video as well. Okay, so we have our DaVinci Resolve project open. I'm currently on my main timeline, which is called widescreen. You can access the details of your timeline by right clicking on the timeline, hovering over the timeline option and then timeline settings. And this will show you your current resolution, which is 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. So it's a 4K timeline in the widescreen format. So in order to produce the vertical version of this video, we're going to duplicate that timeline by right clicking on it in the media pool window, selecting duplicate timeline, and then we'll double click on the timeline and we'll rename it to portrait timeline so we know which one we're working with. If I double click on that, that will now become the main timeline that we are editing. And if you wanna to toggle between all of your timelines, you can also use the timeline selection tool just above the video preview window and you can navigate in between all of your timelines so we're going to stay on the portrait timeline for now and the first thing we're going to do is change it to the appropriate resolution so to do that we'll right click on the timeline select timelines and timeline settings now quite often when you do this the checkbox for use project settings will be selected you need to untick that so you get access to the timeline resolution above. And we're going to go into custom and change this from 1920 by 1080, which is usually the default, to the exact opposite so that we get a portrait mode video. And that will be 1080 wide by 1920 pixels tall. We'll leave all the remaining settings as they were. The pixel aspect ratio should be square. Your timeline frame rate will be dependent on what the original one was, which is usually based on the footage that you've imported into your project. And everything else can pretty much remain the same. You can then select OK, and you'll now have a portrait mode video. The only thing remaining to do is to scale your content so that it fills out the vertical portion of the screen. So you can do a select all command by selecting all of the content in your timeline. And then in the right hand corner, go to the transform tool and you can zoom that content in and you can also position it vertically so that it fills out the screen entirely. Quite often when you're creating content for platforms like TikTok or Instagram Reels, you have time limits that you need to be working within. Sometimes it's 15 seconds, others it's all the way up to a minute. So you could set a out point by using the marker tool by going to the top menu, mark and mark out and that would be the duration of your content. If you wanna use a different section of your video, you could navigate to any part of your video, select mark in, and then mark out, and it will only render that amount of time in your timeline, which is ideal for exporting out for social media. The final step in the equation is to render out your video project. To do that, we're gonna click on the deliver icon on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and we're now going to export out our video. You could use the custom settings or any of the defaults available from YouTube to Vimeo, Twitter, ProRes, and so on. I tend to use the YouTube export option because it has the right codec for most social media platforms, but you could also do this in the custom mode. So the first thing I'll do is give my file a name and I'll call it portrait video. And the next I'll select the location where I want to save that video file to. And then we'll change the resolution by default, given that it's a YouTube video, it's set to 1920 by 1080. We're going to select the custom option and we're gonna flip it around and change the resolution to 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. We can leave the rest of the settings as they are, which will be derivative from your main timeline, the frame rate 29.97, pretty much 30 frames per second. The format QuickTime, 
video codec H.264, which is ideal for uploading to social media. Before we hit the render option, one other thing I wanted to point out is that you can actually change the in and out points in the deliver screen right where we are now. So if you change your mind or if you want to make different versions of the render, a 15 second version and a one minute version, you can actually change the in and out points right here and render them out from this window without having to go back to the main timeline to change the in and out points. So all that being said, we are now pretty much ready to export our project out so that we can upload to the social media platform of our choice. To do that, click on the add to render queue and then in the top right hand corner, you should see your project lined up, ready to be rendered. The final thing remaining to do is to click on the render all option and your project will be rendered out in the vertical portrait mode format ready for uploading to social media. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Speaking of which, I have got a review coming up on the channel for the Live Pro earbuds by JBL, which I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into. I'll be unboxing them and reviewing them and releasing the video in about a week's time on the channel. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. See you on the next video. Bye for now.